I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the Miami Shores in five minutes. Hi, my name is Peter Janakopoulos. I'm on the David Siddons team. I'm the territory manager in Miami Shores. Miami Shores is a neighborhood where most people don't talk about. Let me show you exactly on the map where you can find it. I believe it's a hidden gem. So Miami Shores has four unique parts to it. On the Upper East Side, you'll see it right below Biscayne Park, centered around Barry University. The next area is centered around the Country Club, the golf course, which is a V-shape. It's east of the 6th Isle and west of Biscayne Park. Well, you'll find a lot of different unique homes in that area. Right underneath is another unique spot where I call the hub or the main center of Miami Shores. This will go from 103rd Street down to 90. First Street. In this area, you're gonna find a lot of unique shops, businesses, churches. It's mostly where all the action is happening. There's another main artery that runs right through Miami Shores in the center, which is 96th Street. This is a double wide street where you're gonna find a lot of older homes, Spanish Mediterranean style, and it runs from west of Miami Shores all the way east onto Biscayne Boulevard overlooking the water. The last area of Miami Shores is east of US-1, which arguably is my favorite area of the shores. Reason being is very tranquil calm, there's an ambience feel that is perfect for families when they're walking their kids, biking, walking their dogs. In this area, you're gonna find homes that are dry locked and homes that are on canals in the waterway. This area is some of the most sought off area in Miami Shores because of the location, right? You have homes right on Biscayne Bay overlooking the water that are looking the Indian Creek Islands, also the Normandy Shores. So you get a view of also maybe of Miami Beach. Why are people moving to Miami Shores? Well, I think there's three main reasons why people are moving in Miami Shores. Number one being that it's still a very affordable area. The second reason is it's great for families. There's an abundance of families with kids walking their dogs, riding a bike, just going to leisure walks every single day because of the array of parks in the area. All the neighbors know each other. Most residents have been there for 10 plus years. This makes it an area that most people desire to be. Another reason is that it has top-notch school systems. Three A-plus institutions, there's three private schools. The last point, it's very accessible. A lot of people want to go in and out of Miami to go to downtown and Brickell and even north. You can use the Expressway or US-1 and there's a lot of different access points to get to these areas. Now you may ask, what do you do in the Miami Shores? Well, if you're a resident here, there's a lot of perks. Number one is there's parks, free for everyone, but there's the Bayfront Park, there's also Constitution Park and a sculptured garden where you can see people walking their dogs and having a good time. Second, which is my favorite, is the Country Club Golfing. Here it's 18 holes open to residents and to the public. Third thing is that there's an aquatic center. This aquatic center is perfect for families and children where you can find numerous slides, water features, and a swimming pool. The fourth thing is a tennis club, only open to residents where there's four different courts for you to play tennis with your friends. There's always the good and the bad of every area. Well, let's talk about the good. The good thing about Miami Shores is the accessibility, all those areas in just under 15 minutes. The second thing is predominantly it's a single family market. You're not gonna see a lot of condos or multifamilies. Now let's talk about the bad. There's not really an area where there's trendy restaurants and places to go with your family. Other than a few shops and restaurants, there's not much compared to Coral Gables, Coconut Grove, or Pinecrest. The other is that you're gonna find a lot of older homes that need much renovations. Now let's talk about the numbers in the shores. Prices have skyrocketed, obviously, since a couple years ago. Reason being is a lot of people desire to live in the Grove and the Gables, however, just can't quite afford it. So the next area is Miami Shores, and that being is because families want to be in areas. To give you an example, east of US-1 on Biscayne Boulevard, those homes you'll find some on the canal and on the water overlooking the bay. They can go from 3 million all the way up to 4.5 million. In the hub in the center of Miami Shores, these are a little more affordable where the price point's gonna be around 1.3 to 1.4 million. Now, when you compare this to other areas like Coconut Grove, the Gables, Pinecrest, those price points you probably on average have to enter for a thousand a foot. So this is why Miami Shores is a desirable place and families are looking to move in here. Now there's a lot to unpack in this video as we went through a lot of things about Miami Shores. Please feel free to always to reach out to us as we are in the market all the time looking and helping families make better decisions. Please check our website where we have a lot more articles talking about Miami Shores and the amenities and the perks and price points of this area. Again, I'd love to hear from you and thank you for watching the video.